Hi guys, this is Sammy from Shortpoint. In this video, I will show you how you can upgrade to the new Shortpoint SPFX, where you can now start using Shortpoint on both classic and modern SharePoint experience. Now this video and Shortpoint SPFX only works right now for Shortpoint Online and Office 365. Soon we will announce the availability for Shortpoint SPFX in both Shortpoint 2016 and also Shortpoint 2019 on-premise versions. Let's get started. In this environment, as you can see here, this is a page that designed, was designed and built using Shortpoint and also used Shortpoint Theme Builder to brand and customize the site as well. So Shortpoint old version is installed here. So let's go and verify. We go to the site content. So we go to the site content from here. This is the root site of the site collection. So remember, this is very important. And as I can see, this is Shortpoint installed on this site. I will go as usual to the dashboard. And I can see this is the old Shortpoint. So the version is 5.4 or other version. So if it started from five or below, then you are in the old version. Shortpoint SPFX, it starts from six. It's Shortpoint 6.1.0. So the first thing we want to do now is to download the latest version of Shortpoint. So we go to shortpoint.com, download SPFX. So this is the download page where you can now download the latest version of Shortpoint SPFX 6.1.0. So let's click on download button. It will download the package. Let's go and check it, out. check it out. So this is the package. As usual, it's a zip file. You need to extract the file. Now you will notice guys that the package extension is now different. So now it's shortpoint spfxsp package. Let's proceed. Now the first step after we download the package is to go to admin center. So let's go to admin. You need to have a permission to access the admin center because this upgrade, you need to upload the package to the app catalog again. Now let's go to admin center and we go to SharePoint. This is going to be almost the last time guys where you will upload anything to the app catalog because for SharePoint SPFX, we built something, a feature we called inside or inside upgrade so you will not need to update the app anymore in the app catalog you will be able to update it directly in the sites or in the site collections so let's go to apps and then we go to app catalog and then we go to apps for SharePoint as we can see from here this is the old SharePoint package SharePoint add-in solutions so now we need to upload the new package so we click upload and we choose it where we download. Remember, not the zip file, you need to upload the package, the extension here. Now, if you face any issues here, you are unable to download or to upload the package, it means you don't have permissions on this site collection, on the app catalog. So you need to go to the site collection where it says the site collection for hosting the apps and make sure that your user is the admin on that site. Now, after you upload the SPFX package, you will be prompted here. This is the screen, ask you to deploy. This step is not going to install SharePoint anywhere. It's just going to get the latest files and scripts from our global CDN. And when you click deploy. After you're done, you will see that the app has been deployed, but you can see it's not deployed on a tenant. It's not installed anywhere, but the app now is ready to be uh, installed on the site. So now let's go back to our site collection. So our site collection is uh, sites, SPFX to the home. So that's where the site where it has the old SharePoint add-in installed. So now we'll show you the third step, how we can now upgrade this site. Now this is the site. To continue with the upgrade, we need to go to the site content. Before we go there, I would like to confirm that upgrade to SharePoint SPFX is seamless. It's not going to affect your existing designs at all. You, there will be no downtime, downtime and there will be no data loss at all. It's going everything that our team spent like the last two months to make sure you will have that a great upgrade experience without any issues. 
So let's go now to the site content. So this is our site content where we have SharePoint um, installed. And let's exit the exp classic experience to see. So this is the old uh, SharePoint app. So what we need to do right now is to add the new app. So for both experiences. So from here we click on add an app. And now from app from your organizations, this is the new app. It's called SharePoint SPFX. I know we are adding a new app, but that's the upgrade process. You need to add the new SharePoint SPFX and SharePoint SPFX will detect that there is an, an, an old SharePoint add-in installed and it will do the migration and it will complete the migration and installation to SPFX. So now we click on SharePoint SPFX and now we can see that it is, uh, it will take like a couple of minutes to be added on the site. Refresh the page and you will notice now there are two new apps being added. Shortpoint SPFX. This is the, the new engine. This is SPFX engine app and it is not clickable. And you will see another app now. It's a temp app required for completing the installation. It's called Shortpoint SPFX install now. So what we need to do right now is to click on install now. App. It will redirect you now to the new SharePoint SPFX dashboard. Now you can see from here that the version for this one is 6.1. There is nothing installed yet. We have to complete the installation by going to the installation page. And now this is the installation page same as before, but you will notice there is an option here called install for classic pages. The new SharePoint SPFX will give the users ability to decide if they want to install SharePoint on modern sites only or in both modern and classic. The reason we are doing, making it as an optional, if you want to enable and install SharePoint on classic pages, you need to enable scripting capabilities. But if you want to use SharePoint on modern sites only, you don't need to enable scripting capabilities. So that's where we make it an optional. Now, because SharePoint already installed on this classic site and we are doing the upgrade, that's why this option is disabled. You cannot disable it. The same thing here for site collection scope installation. SharePoint already installed on this tenant, on this site collection as the entire site collection scope. So you cannot also disable it from here. Let's click on install. So what's going to happen right now, it detected that there is an old SharePoint add-in installed, so it will migrate the data. It will run a lot of test cases and scenarios to make sure that the migration has been completed successfully, all the data has been migrated. And once everything is done, it will show you the success message. To guarantee if any issue happened during the migration or the upgrade to SharePoint SPFX, the whole installation will be, uh, will, will be stopped and you will see an error that the migration failed and it will show you the error details with a description how to solve it and also with a direct link to, to make a support session with our team to help you out. So this is a guarantee there will be no downtime, downtime at all or any data loss under any, uh, in, un, under any, any situation. So now the installation has been completed. Actually, we are done with the upgrade. Let's see what has happened. Let's go back. This is the new dashboard. SharePoint is installed. Let's go back to our internet. So that's the internet. Nothing has been changed at all. Everything is working, but this is not using the old SharePoint add-in. It's now using SharePoint SPFX technology to run the entire site. Let's go to the site content. So in the site content now, you will see there is a new app here called SharePoint Dashboard. This is how you can access the new dashboard for SPFX. This one here, if you try to click on it, it's not clickable. It's, it's an, the engine for SharePoint SPFX. And this is the old SharePoint uh, add-in. And you can see it's dimmed with this color. And when you try to click on it, it will tell you now that it is the old SharePoint app where you can actually safely delete this app from your site content. You don't need to have this app anywhere here. So you can safely go and click here and delete the app from the site content. You don't need it. 
Let's see how the site content looks on the modern experience. So when you go to the modern experience, we will see the same thing here. We will see that the old short point is dim, where you can safely delete it. And this is the new short point SPFX, which is the engine for running short point. And that's the new dashboard. Congratulations. You just upgraded to the latest technology in SharePoint, SharePoint SPFX. This is like the homepage for our intranet and because it's an old one, it's currently running on the SharePoint, um, on the classic SharePoint. And the experience is the same. That's the SharePoint uh, page builder and you can continue using it normally. But let's see how can we use now SharePoint on modern page. So this site, it's, uh, there is a modern experience enabled. So I'm going to add a page here. Add modern page. So this is a modern page. Modern SharePoint page. So how can we use SharePoint on this page? What you need to do now is to click on the, on this plus button and you will find now the new SharePoint page builder here. You click and it's going to add SharePoint web part on this modern page where you can use SharePoint page builder directly here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete everything here from this canvas. And as usual, just for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to open demos.sharepoint.com and then I'm going to open any of the existing designs. So I'm going to open uh, this together example. It's one of my favorite examples. And as usual, from SharePoint demos website, you click on copy. And then you open our modern page and then you paste. Yes, guys, the copy paste works exactly the same for both classic and modern experience. And then you click on save. You can save this web part and that's our page. It's published. So now guys, you are ready to use SharePoint on modern SharePoint experience. Let me open the existing uh, classic page. So that's our page. So what I'm going to show you now, I'm going to copy this page. So let's enable uh, SP copy equal one. Let's enable short point copy paste bar on this environment. And I'm going to copy this page. I can open modern SharePoint, edit. From here, I'm going to delete uh, this web part. I can add the web part again, delete this uh, default section. And I'm going to paste the page from classic experience and say publish. Boom. We just copied the page from classic to modern. So now you can use SharePoint on both classic and modern SharePoint pages. The theme builder, SharePoint theme builder is net is not yet available for modern sites. This is what we are currently working on and it's going to be released next where you can basically brand and customize modern SharePoint sites. Same thing, the way you use our product to customize and brand the classic SharePoint sites. Until that time, please send us your feedback to support at SharePoint.com about SPFX and thank you very much.